All right, so we'll start with a simple problem. Uh, we, have a, we have a circle, and by the way, since we're talking about a circle, let's draw one. Okay, here's our circle. Right? It doesn't have to be a beautiful circle, just a circle. What do we know about this circle? Well, we know that it has some radius, right? So let's call that radius r, right? We know it has a circumference, right? This distance all the way around. Call that, let's say, c, okay? Those are the only quantities that we have involved in this problem, right? The radius and the circumference. And you probably remember a relationship between the two. The circumference is just 2 pi times the radius. Now, this is a particularly simple problem in that um, the two quantities are proportional, right? And if you have two quantities that are proportional, it, it seems intuitive that the rates at which they change should also be proportional, right? So if we know the rate at which the radius is changing, we should multiply by 2 pi. We've got the radius at which the circumference is changing. Simple enough, right? Um, one thing to keep track of, there's going to be units involved in these problems. Make sure there's units involved in your answer. Um, be careful because sometimes you might have to do unit conversions to compare quantities. Um, that can be tricky. We don't have to worry about it here, but it can come up. Okay. So how do we do this? Well, we have our relationship, right? And I, like I said, that's the hard part. So now we just, what we do is we take the derivative of both sides with respect to t. So the derivative of the circumference with respect to t, well, it's the derivative with respect to t of 2 pi times the radius, right? But constant rule says 2 pi can come out. This is just 2 pi times dr dt. Simple enough. All right, and so now we come back to the problem, right? It, it's always good to kind of continually reread these problems as you go. And you come back to the problem, you say, okay, what do I know? Um, ah, I know that the radius is growing at a rate of five centimeters per hour, right? So we say, well, what, this five, what is this five centimeters per hour? Well, this is dr dt, okay? The only other thing you want to be careful about is rates could be either positive or negative, right? You have to look at the problem and see. Look for keywords. Growing. Growing suggests that the, the quantity is increasing, getting bigger. So the derivative should be positive, right? We know positive derivative for increasing, negative for decreasing. Okay? So having established that, we just simply plug it in. 2 pi times 5 centimeters per hour equals 10 pi centimeters per hour, and you're done.